As negotiations continue at Albany over a late New York State budget, a stopgap measure is in place to keep state employees paid through this week. Among the sticking points are attempts to roll back the controversial bail reform law. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas has the latest from the state capitol. The bail reform is under attack. What do we do? Bail reform advocates make their message loud and clear as Democratic lawmakers gather for an update on budget negotiations behind closed doors. That's now days past the deadline. We are here to ask lawmakers to make a conscious decision not to trade black and brown lives for political theater. Lawmakers are passing a temporary budget extension to ensure state employees get paid through the week, buying more time for budget wrangling, as lawmakers have not struck a deal on a number of issues, including a rollback of the bail reform law. We put together a comprehensive package that's going to address a myriad of issues related to crime in the state. Chants by various advocacy groups outside of the governor's office almost drowning her out. Despite research not linking the bail reform law to a rise in crime, the issue is adding pressure to Democrats, whose powerful supermajority in Albany could be at stake. We've never said it was bail reform's fault. We never said that. Very clear. But there's areas that can we make improvements. Meantime, it's day 14 of a hunger strike for original bail reform sponsor Latrice Walker. How do we fix, begin to fix something when we're basing it on something that has no substance and there's no empirical data? That's the point of contention where we are. But in Albany, perception or reality can come down to politics. And in an election year, even more is at stake. The details of the negotiation are being kept pretty quiet, but Governor Hochul says progress is being made, all while sources say they don't expect a deal to be struck until the end of the week. In Albany, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. And other issues being discussed, child care funding, tax dollars for a new Buffalo Bills stadium, and also permanently legalizing alcohol-to-go sales statewide.